Hey everybody, did you know that once ETA Hen finishes loading that it can automatically launch items flow just like this right here. All of our debug messages are coming through. Okay, and just like that you have items flow running. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up ours to do this exact same thing. So taking a look at the release notes for this project, if we scroll down just a little bit here, you can see that it says ETA hen any configuration file. So ETA hens any settings can be found at data ETA hen config.any and can be accessed using the built in FTP and is automatically created for you when you run ETA hen for the first time. Go ahead and turn on that automatic launching then you will need to come into that config.any file and then add this item called launch underscore items flow to a one in order to enable it. So back over on your PlayStation 5, go ahead and get jailbroken and then get your IP address and then come back and we'll just do it together. Okay, and if you did run the ETA hen, you automatically got the FTP payload. So back over on my computer here, I am using FileZilla for the FTP clients. Just go ahead and download that. And then we'll just go ahead and plug in our PS5's IP address along with that port of 1337. And then we'll just go ahead and click connect on that. I am going to go to the data folder here. And we're going to go to ETA hen and right there is that config.any file. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that over here to the root of my kind of PS5 folder. Mine, I need to overwrite it, but hopefully on yours, you don't have to do that. And so now let's just go ahead and let's open up that file in something like Notepad or Visual Studio Code. Okay, so here is that config.any file. And as you can see by default, it does not have that added. So you will need to come in here and manually add it. Now, looking back over at the notes, all we need to do is just copy that item out. And then we'll just paste that at the end of this file and we'll go equals. And then that will be a one. Okay, so now let's go ahead and save the file. And let's upload that back to our PlayStation 5. Okay, so right there is my modified file. So I'm just going to drag that right back into that folder. And we are going to select Overwrite. I'll press OK. All right, let's switch over to the PlayStation 5. And let's go ahead and restart our console. Okay, now that my system's rebooted, I'm back at this PS5 jailbreak page. Let's go ahead and run ETA Hen. And now this time it should automatically launch items flow for us. There we can go. We can see that all of our debug messages have finished. And then one thing I've noticed is that you do typically have to at least press the home button there. And then you will see items flow. So anyway, this is something that I thought was pretty cool. I'm basically using this right now as my main dashboard. So I'm pretty excited to have that option and really see what kind of comes out of this over the coming months and years. All right. Thanks so very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Michael out.